Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today, we're tackling a question that many Electron developers encounter. Our viewer asks, how can we acquire the renderer process ID in Electron? Previously, you could easily access the process ID using a method from the remote module. However, this approach has changed in recent releases. So what are the alternatives? Let's dive in and explore the current options for retrieving the renderer process ID, especially for Windows users. Welcome to another tech video. Today we're gonna to be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution for you. Guys, remember to stay a little bit crazy, like me, and hopefully get to that resolution. Now, let's continue on to that video. In recent versions of Electron, the method to acquire the renderer process ID has changed. Previously, you could use the remote module to get the process ID. However, this method is no longer valid in versions 1.4x and above. So how can we retrieve the renderer process ID now? To get the renderer process ID in the latest versions, you can use the Web Contents API. Here's how you can do it. This code snippet retrieves the current Web Contents and then calls the get process ID method to obtain the renderer process ID. Remember to ensure that you have the correct context when using this method, as it relies on the Electron Remote module. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. To acquire the renderer process ID in Electron, you can use the method getOSProcessID. This feature was introduced in Electron version 1.71. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To acquire the renderer process ID in Electron, you can use a couple of methods. On Darwin or Linux Mint with Electron version 1.6.7, calling get current web contents, get process ID, surprisingly returns three, which seems too low for a valid process ID. However, from the renderer process itself, you can simply use process.pid to get the correct renderer process ID. Additionally, you can access the main process ID using require-electron.remote-process.pedi, which also returns the correct value. But You can verify these process IDs using the Activity Monitor on Darwin or the System Monitor on Linux Mint. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To acquire the renderer process ID in Electron, you can use a simple method. First, require the Electron module and access the current web contents to get the process ID. Here's an example of how to implement this. When the app is ready, create a new browser window. Once it gains focus, open the developer tools and execute JavaScript to log the process ID.
This method was tested on Electron version 1.413, ensuring compatibility. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. In Electron version 14, the remote module has been removed. To acquire the renderer process ID, you need to update your code. Instead of using the deprecated remote module, use the at electron slash remote package. And that's it guys. I hope that's found the answer that you were looking for and you got through to that solution. If you did, please hit the subscribe button. I'd really appreciate it. And until the next time, you have a technical issue, I'll see ya. Have a good one.